Turkish Navy amphibious assault ship TCG Anadolu Anadolu, L-400, to start sea trials. The Turkish Navy amphibious assault ship TCG Anadolu Anadolu, L-400, will begin sea trials shortly and is expected to be commissioned by the end of the year. It is named after the peninsula of Anatolia, Turkish, Anadolu, which forms the majority of the landmass of Turkey. The construction works began on April 30, 2016 at the shipyard of Sedef Shipbuilding Incorporated in Istanbul, with the keel being laid on February 7, 2018, and is expected to be commissioned in 2022. Anadolu, L-400, is an amphibious assault ship, LHD, of the Turkish Navy that can be configured as a Stavl aircraft carrier. The construction of a sister ship, to be named TCG Trakya, is currently planned by the Turkish Navy. Trakya means Thrace in Turkish. The Sedef Navancha Consortium won the tender for the LPD-LHD project of the Turkish Navy in Anadolu will use the same design as that of the Spanish ship Juan Carlos I. All of the ship's weapons system will be procured by Turkish firms Aselsan and Havelsan. The ship will feature a Turkish combat management system, namely the Genesis Advent, which will be integrated by Aselsan and Havelsan. Aircraft landing is assisted in all weather condition by Leonardo SPN 720 Precision Approach Radar. Navancha will provide design, technology transfer, equipment and technical assistance to Sedef Shipyard of Turkey for the design and development of Anadolu, which is classified as a light aircraft carrier slash LHD by Turkish Lloyd. He vessel is intended to meet the various needs and requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces, such as sustaining long endurance, long distance military combat or humanitarian relief operations, while acting as a command center and flagship for the Turkish Navy. The dimensions of the final design are 231 meters, 757 feet 10 inches, in length, a 32 meter, 105 feet 0 inches, beam, a 6.8 meter, 22 feet 4 inches, draft, and 58 meters, 190 feet 3 inches, in height. Its displacement will be 24,660 tons in Stavl aircraft carrier mission configuration, or 27,079 tons in LHD mission configuration. Its maximum speed will be 21.5 knots, 39.8 kilometers per hour, 24.7 miles per hour, in Stavl aircraft carrier configuration, or 29 knots, 54 kilometers per hour, 33 miles per hour, in LHD configuration. The ship has a 5,440 square meters, 58,600 square feet, flight deck and a 990 square meters, 10,700 square feet, aviation hangar which can accommodate either 12 medium-sized helicopters or 8 Boeing CH-47F Chinook heavy lift helicopters. When the aviation hangar and the light cargo garage are unified, the ship can carry up to 25 medium-sized helicopters. Alternatively, the ship can carry up to 10 F-35B Stava fighter jets and 12 medium-sized helicopters, with the possibility of hosting six more helicopters on the flight deck of the ship. But the U.S. Senate blocked the export of the fighter jet to Turkey due to its purchase of the S-400 missile system from Russia. Instead of the F-35B Stava version, in the short term the Turkish Navy will operate domestically produced UCAVs such as the Bayraktar TB3. The ship has a 1,880 square meters, 20,200 square feet, light cargo garage for TEU containers and 27 amphibious assault vehicles, AAV, a 1,165 square meters, 12,540 square feet, dock which can host four landing craft mechanized, LCM, or two landing craft air cushion, LCAC, or two landing craft vehicle personnel, LCVP, and a 1,410 square meters, 15,200 square feet, garage for heavy loads, which can host 29 main battle tanks, MBT, amphibious assault vehicles, 
and TU containers. The ship will be protected by the ARAS 2023 Diver Detection Sonar DDS, and will have a crew consisting of 261 personnel, 30 officers, 49 NCOs, 59 leading seamen, and 123 ratings. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more up-to-date news.